trying to move apart. You ready? Yeah. I don't know, should we do the row of 24 to make certain that there's no problem whatsoever? But that'd be three more inches. No, we're at 28. Yeah. Let's leave it. Okay. Okay. Archie's tired. Yeah, Archie, I'm sure he is. He's ready for bed. Before we can plant the corn, we have to uh, put fertilizer go down. put uh, some fertilizer down about 500 pounds the acre so that uh, when we drill it in, it'll still be enough. And then, of course, we have to top dress with urea a little later, but, uh, well, we'll get it all together. This is the very beginning. fertilizer. Several things have to be done uh, to successfully plant peas. First of all, we change the plate on the planter so that the pea seed is high density because we want lots of pea plants very, very close to one another. Peas tend to make their own nitrogen, so the amount of fertilizer you use to uh, raise peas is, is drastically reduced. Um, 
the setting on the planter was five and a half for the corn and we're going to turn the setting down to two and a half uh, for peas. And instead of having 12,000 seeds to the acre, uh, we will end up with uh, something like Hundred and fifty pounds, which I have no idea how many seeds that's a, that is, but it's a lot because pea seeds aren't a whole lot heavier than corn seed, maybe twice as heavy. So, and of course we plant double rows of peas. So uh, we'll go up, and then we'll turn around and shift the tractor over six inches, and come back down in the same area. Uh, and we're going to plant something like 10 pounds of peas all at once. And we make sure that we have enough fertilizer right over top of where the outflow point is so that when we're going down the row we don't run out of fertilizer. Although with peas, it's like I say, it's very little fertilizer that gets used. Okay. Now for the pea seed. This planter is a vacuum planter. This piece in the center here is a big old vacuum cleaner. It makes a lot of noise. Uh, but it makes a lot of vacuum that goes through these hoses uh, down into this unit right here and uh, The plates that I put in there have holes in them You probably saw those holes and the vacuum comes up and it pulls and then there's this little piece right here That we adjust in and out so that we only grab one seat at a time uh, You have to go about 10 feet um, before you uh, actually you're putting seeds in the ground to begin with so you don't want to turn off the turn off the uh, the PTO once you get started because it'll create a situation where the peas then fall off the plate and you have to start over again and what we're going to do is we're going to put in two quart jars of uh, pea seed into each side so that'll be there's close to two pounds in each quart jar. And when you do this, you try to make sure that you put the same amount of seed in each side, although they don't ever run out identically to the other one, ever. So, Actually, as I look at this, I'm thinking I need to put three in each side. Once it starts to get warm out and stay warm out, peas don't do that well. Uh, we would have liked to have planted them earlier, but we had conditions where it was raining five days a week for weeks on end, and the temperature seldom got to 40. So it was it was a tough situation. The ground was the ground was really wet all the time. But now we've had I think this is the sixth or seventh day in a row where we haven't had any rain, and we're not going to get rain tomorrow, and we're not going to have rain on Sunday till Sunday night. I don't think so. You know, there's the old saying to make hay while the sun shines. Well, for vegetable growers, you better plant the seed while the ground is dry. So it's sort of the same thing. We're 
trying to hurry today to get things done because we ordered a brand new greenhouse. Probably Anna has already told you about it. And it turns out that it's going to be delivered to the dealer this morning between 10 and 11 and we're we're going to try to get there so that it can be loaded straight onto our truck and we'll be able to get right out there and, and do it, put that greenhouse up. We're going to have tomatoes, uh, peppers, and cucumbers in that greenhouse this uh, season. It uh, should be wonderful because we'll be able to have uh, some of these things earlier than normal and they'll still be being picked when we get to the end of the CSA. Um, so I'm going to jump on the tractor and hit the switch and start moving forward here and, and plant these peas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 